Great to have you with us. I'm Joe Donlon. And I'm Erica Sargent. Right to breaking news. A man and woman in their 80s waiting at a bus stop injured during a crash involving a Chicago police squad car. CBS 2 Sabrina Franza live on the northwest side for us where police just released new details. Sabrina, what happened? Hi, Joe. Erica, three people were injured after an SUV collided with a CPD police vehicle. They were waiting at the bus stop behind me when that accident happened. Now we're learning that the driver of that SUV was wanted in connection with an ongoing investigation. Glasses shattered on the floor. A hat lies in the road. A Chicago patrol car totaled. It's a sad accident. Swanee Martinez was there. She took this video in the immediate aftermath at Fullerton and Central Avenues. An officer wheeled off on a stretcher. Trying to change the channel on my TV and then I saw a white car just coming down um, Central. And at the same time I saw a cop car coming down um, Fullerton. Daisy Viad works on the same corner. The cop car spun. The white car kept going. What happened before, police say that a different cop car, this one was unmarked, was conducting an investigation when they pulled over the suspect's car. The suspect did what he was told at first, then took off. I thought they were going to stop, but because everybody else was stopped and they just ended up crashing. Meanwhile, another police car, this one marked, was on a different assignment entirely, police say. The suspect and the marked police car crashed into one another, and the suspect's car flew in the direction of the bus stop. Two people, an 81-year-old man and an 83-year-old woman, were hurt. Just lay on the floor, but on his side, his head was on the curb and half was on the street. Both the suspect who was driving and a woman with him were taken into custody. All three victims, including the officer, were taken to the hospital. They're all going to be okay. So I was just concerned because it's like this place is covered with like children and high schoolers and parents. So it was just crazy to see that everybody just stopped except those two cars. It's still not clear what that suspect was originally wanted for. We'll keep asking police for those details. Meanwhile, they are questioning both that suspect and the woman that he was with in that car while they review police body camera video as well as pod camera cam pod cameras at this intersection. We're live in Belmont Cragen. Sabrina Franza, CBS 2 News. What a wild scene, Sabrina. Thank you.